Hey everyone, Tony D with another hot take. This one, I guess this one's about the internet. And I gotta tell you, people who don't bother to watch my videos before they comment on YouTube, you really ought to watch my videos because I got blasted by this guy who apparently thought I was a Bernie Bros supporter. I know, right? Uh, anyone who's watched my videos realizes that I don't really like Bernie. I mean, I don't think he's an awful human being. Um, my laundry. I, I just think that socialism is awful and that, well, I guess he's kind of awful for supporting that, but um, I don't really think he's serious, you know? I don't think as a, as a politician he can make inroads anywhere. Um, but people on the internet have, uh, have just gone off the rails, especially on Reddit and a lot of the social media. And I think what's happening is a lot of people are just giving up on social media. I mean, I'm not seeing, you know, it, it, it's become a place to just start arguments, basically. And those arguments then move into real life. And the way they move into real life is just like what happened in the UK, lazy media people. And, and let me tell you something. I thought reporters were lazy before the internet. They don't have anything on the current crop of reporters. Now, these people take a couple of Google searches and boom, they have an article. A lot of them. Now, there are a handful of reporters that actually do work and think and, you know, do stuff. But the vast majority of these guys, and I've seen their jobs. Like, I've, as a freelancer, I've sometimes even applied for these jobs where you, you write articles. And you just crank them out. You have to. But the question is, what are you cranking out? And why are you doing it? Is it is it anything you believe? Is it any is it or is it just partisan nonsense? So much of what comes out on the internet now, <clears throat> and this is the downside of the internet, you're getting more and more opinions, but you're also getting more and more crap. <clears throat> In the old days, when you got your news from television and newspapers, there were, you know, television was like the fast food of news and then newspapers were the you know healthy meal and because of that relationship between TV and newspapers television used newspapers as a source often and because of that and because newspapers were generally considered you know good or at least they had done the proper vetting of their stories you know, most of the stuff on TV, although spun a certain way, uh, a lot of it was relatively true. Now we have this situation where people have abandoned newspapers in the, in the media because it's not quick enough. They go right for the websites. Now a lot of that, a lot of that is what is the internet now. Or, or rather what is newspapers now are on the internet. The dog is running around. Are you happy, Joan? Joan just got a bath for reasons that were gross. I won't go into it. I'll spare you. Anyhow, and I've said this before, but a little more detail. Um, so the media giants in the UK would look at Twitter and try to get a pulse of things and, and the internet. It's not just Twitter, although Twitter's sort of in the lead for the laziest, which tends to be the most people, you know, the most people who just grind out these outrageous articles for clickbait, cash. And, um, you know, they, they write these things and people believe them, but later they're often retracted or modified but the people who just sort of glance at the headlines, like the dumbasses in my YouTube comments sometimes, not everyone, of course. Some of you are very polite and wonderful. Most of you. Uh, just this one particular guy was kind of dumb. Um, but he took my title, hot take, uh, 
Bernie Bros Won't Stop, he took that as a positive endorsement of Bernie Bros. See, I didn't mean it that way. I meant they just won't stop. Like, oh, they're so annoying. Why won't they stop? They just won't stop. So, you know, you can kind of take it either way. I, reading it, I realized, oh, I guess he took that as Bernie Bros Won't Stop. <laughs> But he should have looked at the video before commenting. I mean, that's the basic thing to do. Instead, he pegged me, pegged me as a Bernie bro and started, uh, oh man, should I start this video over? So much distraction. Anyhow, he pegged me as a Bernie bro because he didn't bother to do literally five seconds of research. All he had to do is start the video and a minute in, he would have been, oh, this guy's not a Bernie bro. And uh, he might have even liked the video. So I, I replied to him. Hopefully he'll go back and look at the video and realize I'm not a Bernie supporter and go, oh, well, I, sorry, I kind of support you. I don't know. Um, but a lot of people do this on the Internet. And, I, and even I'm guilty of it once in a while. And uh, I, I've done that in the past, in the early days of the Internet. But, you know, I don't do that anymore. I try to be more careful, especially since I'm making YouTube videos. Um, <clears throat> But, you know, people make mistakes. You know, I didn't want to totally roast this guy. I, I gave him an out. I gave him, you know, maybe you ought to watch the video kind of kind of comment. So hopefully he'll say, oh, you know, should have watched the video. My bad. And then that'll be the end of it. That's the way people should be. But unfortunately, they're not. And I think it stems from the fact that, and I've always said this, that there are a lot of teenagers, college students, Generally, people with way too much time on their hands on the internet. Generally, it's high schoolers and college students. They just have too much time. And they're kind of gung-ho to say things and do things. And uh, I was too. And I, and I thank God every day the internet didn't exist as it exists now. Because I probably would have said a ton of embarrassing things. So if you're, you're one of these people, my advice to you is, First off, slow down, okay? Uh, life is long and boring and stupid, and you'll have plenty of time to embarrass yourself. Don't don't be in a rush to do it. Think about what you do. Um, I know, you know, again, I'm guilty of it too. I rush things. I want, I'm anxious. <clears throat> but also, think better of people. You know, when you, when you see someone who posts something dumb or stupid, you know, you have to evaluate them. You know, and that's what I do. Sometimes I get uh, blasted on Imgur for some of my comics, and I just go, you know what? There's probably some kid somewhere, and uh, you know he feels like he's defending Imgur because I post uh, all my comics on Imgur, or whatever, you know. And I, I, I don't have time to get into an argument with him. I don't want to insult him personally. I don't care. I don't care about his opinion. So I'll just mute him and just go my merry way. And if he wants to continually harass me online and keep voting me down, well, he could waste his time. But, um, you know, I, I try really hard not to feed the trolls. And when you don't feed the trolls, they just starve. They, they starve without attention. If you don't get into an argument with them, typically they just get frustrated and they leave. You know, I've, ha I've had a few guys over the years who have attacked me online and, you know, one guy in particular attacked me, but I fed him. I fed the troll and we got into it. We got into it back and forth. But ultimately, it was just a huge waste of time because you can't win the argument online. You can never win an argument. Very rarely do you, do people go, oh, man, my bad. <clears throat> it's very rare. And when they do, you know, you should acknowledge them and go, well, thank you. Thank you. That was nice of you to say. And, you know, and I've done that a couple of times. Um, but um, getting back to the Internet and what's divided this country seemingly so much is this partisan rhetoric, which really comes out of this, you know, F you mindset when people argue online and they just won't give up the ghost. You know, back in the pre-internet days, if you got into an argument with somebody in real life, you know, there was possibility you could get into a fist fight or, you know, you could, uh, Depending on the context, you could be thrown out of the party or the bar or somebody's home and you know, maybe you'd hurt a friendship or whatever. So, you know, the stakes felt higher. So people tended to check themselves more. I don't know. Maybe it was the way they were raised to. 
But with the internet, you're so disconnected from people. You know, you hide behind avatars or people don't really know you or you start an argument and then you never talk to that person ever again. That makes it more distant and more, you know, the stakes are so low, nobody cares. Nobody cares. If I go F you to somebody online or I call them a name or I zing them, you know, that's it. That's the end. That's basically the end of it. Even if we go back and forth for a few hours, it's over after, after a while. And I've done that too. You know, I've gone back and forth with people on politics because I like to argue that. But, you know, you have to, you have to just realize that ultimately it's not the most healthy thing in the world to get sucked down in that rabbit hole. And really you're doing the world a favor by trying to be a better person, a bigger person, by maybe not just needling people, if you know what I mean. I mean, generally, look, you know, it's it's fine to have policy discussions and political arguments and whatever, you know, up to a point. But, I, you know, you get you used to get in these arguments on message boards where people would just, they'd go back and forth. And when they got cornered, they'd go, ah, I was just kidding anyway, F you. And then, you know, what do you say to that? They, you can't say anything to it. Uh, you know, if you treat the whole thing as a joke, it never was real to begin with. And uh, basically, they're they're just, ha ha, you wasted your time. Uh, you don't know what I believe. Ha 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 ha. Again, that's like not really doing anything for you or them or the world. So, um, I, for one, would like to see the internet be a more civilized place. At the very least, it should be more civilized in America, where it was invented, you know, where we have the luxury to be more civilized. You know, uh, we have all kinds of wealth and luxury. We should be able to give people the patience and the time and energy. And really, you know, when for some of these people who are either mentally ill or hold, hold views that you don't agree with or maybe you find totally despicable, it doesn't do any good to yell at them. It, it would do some good to, you know, have patience and discuss things with them. Because, you know, if you look at Daryl Davis, the guy who befriends members of uh, the KKK, and then he uh, gets them out of the life. I mean, he's done a lot of good simply by talking and being a human being. You know, I've tried that too. I've tried that with a couple of Antifa guys, and it didn't really work, but... You know, it's hard to tell. Uh, at the end, they just kind of yelled at me and left <laughs> left the discussion. But I, I tried to keep it. I tried to keep it civil, despite their rudeness. I, I tried to stay on point. But you know, it's difficult to break someone out of their ideological bubble. Um, so don't expect any thank yous, and I wouldn't expect uh, really any successes. Uh, the, I think those kind of people, if they do change. It'll be years later and they might look back on your conversation, you know, kind of vaguely remember it like, oh yeah, I argued on this online with this guy one time and, you know, I just thought he was such an a-hole and then, you know, later I thought about it and, and then, you know, maybe that starts somebody's journey into not necessarily changing their views one, 180 degrees, but becoming more moderate, becoming more self-aware. And realizing that, you know, the world just doesn't revolve around them. Anyhow, that's my uh, hot take on the internet. It's very calm and mellow today. Um, speaking of calm and mellow, please stop by the Swedesboro Holiday Inn in Swedesboro, New Jersey on February 23rd. That's tomorrow, Sunday from 10 to 4. I will be at NerdFest and I will be signing books and comics and I don't know, chatting with people, I guess. And uh, it should be nice and pleasant and mellow like this. <laughs>